This week, the 16th to 20th of June, is International Awareness Week on Button Battery Safety, which is very hard to say. <laughs> the aim of uh, International Awareness Week on um, Button Battery Safety is to raise awareness across the global community of the dangers posed by something that is present in literally billions of homes around the world, and that is the tiny button batteries that we use in so many different things. In raising awareness of the dangers and highlighting the risks associated with plastic battery ingestion, we hope that parents and carers can take the necessary precautions to reduce the risk of injury and death to our most vulnerable global citizens and children. I had a look at uh, the number of attendances we'd seen at Monash Children's Emergency Departments over the last five years. We've seen 140,000 children in that time. Um, two, two and a half thousand of those children had uh, ingested things they shouldn't have, and a reasonable number of those uh, children have eaten butter back. Frequently we're seeing children uh, with really life-threatening issues when they're swallowing button batteries and sometimes the ultimate price. So we do actually have children that die every year after ingesting button batteries and people don't realise just how frequently they are in the home, whether they be in remote controls, laptops, um, toys, gadgets, we have lots of them in our homes and the children know where to find them. And I guess it's the very young children that are most at risk? It's small children who tend to put things from their hand to their mouth and of course they're the ones most at risk. Plus of course they have a very small esophagus where it can become dry. When a child swallows a button battery, our concern is that it might be caught in the esophagus. And when that occurs, the battery sets up a current in the wall of the esophagus which causes a burn and that can potentially lead to hole in the esophagus and leakage of bacteria into the body. It's a potentially life-threatening problem and unfortunately some children have died as a consequence. Just how quickly does the process happen? It can happen very quickly and it can even be uh, noted within two hours of the time the battery was So swallowed. what's the real message Kids is hoping to get up this week? The real message from our perspective is one of vigilance and awareness raising. The key issues that we find are that parents are not aware of how frequently frequently found objects in the home actually have button batteries in them and how easy it is for children to access them and then how quickly damage can actually occur to the children. So our key messages would be to do an audit, find out what you have at home, where you might find button batteries and don't leave them around loose, make sure you dispose of them. Yeah, no, it does.